Um, why dance, some of you might be asking yourselves, and, and I think that the, the answer is very simple. We dance because it's good for us, and uh, obviously there are huge physical benefits to dancing, um, and those of you who do dance have discovered that there are also huge emotional benefits to dancing. It feels good to dance, it's uplifting, it lifts your spirits, uh, it gets you going. Um, but dancing is also very, very good for our brains, and uh, there's been a lot of research over the last, ooh, I'd say decade or so, uh, focusing on the really significant and I'd say profound impact that dance has on brain uh, function. So um, we're going to dance today. And before we start, let me just put what we're going to do into context. Um, we actually usually offer two levels of classes. So the, there's one class that is a, a slow, gentle introduction to, to movement and to dance. And the second class moves much quicker. Um, we really like to challenge the people in that class. And uh, they've become um, very proficient and very skilled. Um, we really like to challenge them technically. Uh, we like to challenge them rhythmically. They do all sorts of wonderful, complex uh, rhythm work and body percussion work. They learn long sequences. They learn entire dances. Um, Latin, swing, blues, whatever. We're not going to do any of that today. Uh, we're going to go the gentle route today. We're going to ease you into our work and just give you a very, very small sampling of what we do in these classes. Um, so your job today is simply to follow um, and do, uh, do what we are doing to the best of your ability. Don't worry if you can't uh, grab onto everything. We're at a disadvantage because normally we can see our participants. They're in the room and we gauge how many repetitions we do of things and, and how we approach things given on how people are dealing with it. We can't see you. Um, so we are just going to blast through the class and you can just hang in there if it's not... Um, if you feel that you're not doing exactly what we're doing, that doesn't matter. The important thing is that you keep moving. Um, I think that is it. I'm going to pass it over to you, lovely Krista White. <laughs> okay. I'll be back.
Well, I'm back. How did that go? Um, that was lovely, Krista. That was lovely. Yeah, yeah. So now we're going to work on a little bit of rhythm work. Um, uh, very basic to begin with, and we're going to do what Krista was doing a, a few minutes ago, which is just slap 
are five, and you can join in any time you want. There we go. Now, I want you just to relax into it, yeah? So take a deep breath. Yeah, there you go. And I want you just to feel this little rhythm with your whole body. So it's not the arms and the hands, it's the body. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there you go. How's that going? Now try doing down, clap, down, clap, down, clap, down. And again, so important to feel this with your whole body. Let that music just move on into your body. How's it feeling? I like that groove, Sheldon. That's nice. Now, we're going to add an opening with a hold. We're going to go down, open, down, open, down, open. If you have a snap, you can snap on that open. So, Krista, why don't you snap? I'm good, just going to open. So you can do what I'm doing, just open, or you can do what Krista's doing, snapping. Now, we're gonna go through the middle. Down, open, down, open, down. Open, down, open. Now I want you to do hit. Ah, so just really feel the hands coming up. They rebound. Down. Now you're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to do a rebound. Hup. One, two. Three, four, five, six, hup. again. One more. Now you're going to do the clap. Four, five. Now you're going to do one of those or little rebounds. One, two, three. Keep going through there. Five, six. Bounce it. Hup. Start again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bounce it again. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Bounce it. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bounce it. Right. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do one more little pattern thing. Uh, you call it, this reminds me of spoons, doesn't it? Yeah, it reminds me of spoons. Okay, yeah, it reminds me of spoons. So, okay. So, take your left hand and put it on your thigh and hover your right hand over it, okay? Both palms are down. And you're going, to, you're going to clap the hands together. So normally we would clap palm to palm. This is palm to back of the hand. So just try that, just up and down, up and down, right? So they come together off of the thigh, then the one hand returns to the thigh. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. How's that going? This can be a bit tricky for some folk um, first time with it. So if it's a little challenging, not to worry. We've proven in our classes that practice makes perfect and we have some brilliant experts in our classes. All right, try the other side. Put your right hand down on your thigh, hover your left hand over and bring them together, apart, together, apart, together, apart, together, apart, together. 
Again, try to feel that little basic little uh, 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 rhythm with your whole body, right? Okay. How's that going? I'm going to assume it's going brilliantly. Now, you're going to do down, hit, down. Go to the other side. Down, hit, down. One. Let's, let's try a little three with this, okay? Okay. A waltz, yes. Okay, here we go. And go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Together apart, one, 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 together apart. We're going to finish. Good, nice, nice. Um, we're going to do one more variation on this, and this is for those of you who want a little bit more of a challenge. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If that's too much for you, just play. Just play with whatever you want here. But those of you who want this challenge, we go one, hit apart, then the other side, down, hit, apart, down. Then thigh, clap, thigh, thigh, clap, thigh, okay? Let's try it with you, mister. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. To your left first, and we're gonna lean back and forth a bit to give you an indication which way you should, going, you should be going. That might give you a hint. Here we go, one, two, three, go, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to your left. Go to your right. Again, and a one, two, three. Again, if this is a bit beyond you, just keep slapping away. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Nice, nice, good, good. So, well done. Um, we're now going to stand and get our legs activated. Um, so, you have a choice of standing or remaining seated, and Krista is going to stay seated today. Uh, so those of you who do want to stand very carefully, get up out of your chairs. Uh, if you need some assistance from a loved one, get that assistance right now. And then you're going to move around the chair. You have three options. One, stay seated. One, go behind your chair. If you need a bit of security by holding onto the chair with two hands, that's fine. You can do all of the work that we're doing behind the chair. Or if you're feeling up to it um, and you're feeling strong and balanced, you can go to the side of your chair, which is what I am doing right now. Um, you want to be slightly behind the chair. So if you're in front of the chair, you're going to throw yourself uh, off as far as your body alignment is concerned. So be, be slightly behind the chair, one hand on the chair or both hands on the chair right and I want you to stand with your feet just ever so slightly apart right below you You might look down and make sure that they're parallel right and just shift back and forth a little bit right nice and tall feel like you've never been taller right and you're going to just feel that everything from your navel down is lifting gently lifting right and your ribs are sitting beautifully and squarely on top of that. Feel like there's a lovely long line right up through the center of your body and going up the top of your head. Feel as if you're trying to touch your head to the ceiling. Um, don't feel that you're trying to touch your nose to the ceiling. Feel like it's just the very center of the head, just nice and tall. You know, feel beautiful and long. Feel the shoulders dropping down, right. Now again, shift back and forth a little bit and really be aware of where your weight is in your feet. So 
Now I'm shifting forward into the balls of my feet. I can very clearly feel that that's where my weight is. And now I'm shifting back into the heels, not so far back that you're going to topple over backwards. Just be aware of those gentle, gentle shifts. Now shift forward ever so slightly. So your weight is forward out of your heels, but you can still wiggle your toes, right? And I want you just to take your heels ever so slightly off. Those of you who've done this know that you can go up higher, but your ankles have to be absolutely solid and square, right? So uh, just take the heels off, and as you press the heels down, feel like you're growing even taller. And again, go up, and although the heels are going down, you're getting taller and taller and taller. Feel that the shoulders are dropping and they're heavy. Again, go up and stretch the heels down. You should feel three inches taller than when you began. Now bend your knees and straighten them and bend them and straighten them. So we're just doing plies or bends and rises and we're gonna combine them. We're going to do four of the bends, four of the plies, down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up. I'm just gonna explain it then up and down four times. Then we're gonna divide by two, do two plies and two rises. Then we're gonna go down through the middle, okay? I'm gonna talk you through it. Now, those of you who are doing the seated work have a variation on this. So whenever we're doing the plies, you're just lifting the knees, right? And whenever you're doing the rises, you're lifting the heels. So if you're seated, ignore me and watch her. If you're standing, pay full attention to me. Okay. I think it's tango time. It's tango Tuesday, as we always say in class. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Two. You're going to bend your knees. A bend. And up. And bend. And up. And bend. Nice and tall. Now rise four times. Up. Tall. Tall. <laughs> I want to move around again. Let's do that again. Same thing. Let's do fours again. Because I enjoyed the fours so much. And up. And up. And keep growing taller. Now, two plies and one. Two rises. Let's do those plies again, two of them. And rise. Now you're going to just do one of each. Down, up, down, up, down, and up. Good. Just one more, just one more, what we, we, we call this the technique part of class. We're just going to do one more little thing. Um, and that is get the legs up and then we're going to move it more. So lift, um, if you are on the same side of the chair that I am, lift your outside leg. <laughs> <laughs> lift your outside leg. Just lift a leg and let it hang, right? Now pull the toes back. So you're now flexing that foot, right? Try the other one. Let it hang and pull the toes back. So you again, you should feel everything activating in your legs. Okay, now what we're going to do is just lift it with a flexed foot, stretch it forward, bring it in and down. If you're doing this behind the chair, you just keep, keep the leg quite low, and most of you should keep the leg pretty low, right? Um, you don't want the leg extending, knocking you over backwards. You need to stay over. It's almost feeling like you have a bungee cord connecting your knee and your rib cage, right? So they feel very, very connected. So we go in and out and in and down, in and out and in. We do that four times, then we do out, in, down, wait, out, in, down, 
Wait, we do that four times. Very simple today, very, very simple. I'm in a tango mood, still. We got tango all day. Okay, <laughs> tango all day. Here we go, ready to bring the leg in and in, out, in. I need a rose in my teeth <laughs> and in out now take the leg straight out and out in down out in down out yes <laughs> out in let's repeat all of that and go in and out and in and down and in and out I just want to shout away. In, out. We were taking straight and in and down. And wait and straight in and down. Two more. Okay, we're going to have to get a pose out at the end of this. There you go. Okay. Sounds good. I think we're going to move Um, I am going to move my chair back. Now, again, uh, this can be done. Uh, this all can be done holding on to your chair. Uh, you just don't move a lot to start that. It can also be done with seated. I am going to stand and do this kind of. So we're just going to start with a little bit. We're actually going to get into the can't take that away from me. Um, they can't take that away from me. I like to start to get to that. I like to do any combination to that because I've been thinking about how much I miss our practices, our participants, and I go off practice, and I just they can't take that away from me. The way you go, you know, how you want to see the way the water is coming. There you go. Anyway. We're going to start with just a little sway. So feet apart, and you're just going to sway your left. And you're going to touch the green. So, if you're standing straight, take a deep breath. And relax into it. So you want to have knees bent. Nice, relaxed torso. You should lean into this a little bit, right? Don't lean back. Not a good idea. Yes, lean into it. You are required to enjoy the music at this point. Are your knees straightening? Make sure they're bent. Okay, now, step on the leg. Bring the other leg in. Step, and you bring the other leg and tuck. You're actually taking a step, and now you don't transfer the weight, you just touch it and step and touch it. We're going to do step, touch. Aren't you a smart cookie? <laughs> step, touch, step, touch, step. Again, relax into it, enjoy it. So you're not stiff and upright. Yes. Down, 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 down. Let's hold it. Let's go that way. One, down, down, down. Let's just keep going on this one. So it's a touch. 
Touch, don't put your weight on it. Step on it, don't step on it. Step on it, don't. One, two, one, two, one. Now, take three steps. One, two, three. Touch, one. You can travel this back and forth if you wish, or you can just do it on the spot. Two, three. Whatever you feel most comfortable with. So right now I'm doing it on the spot. Now I'm doing the traveling version. So again, it's just three steps. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm touching. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm touching. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three. Now try. Remember to keep those knees relaxed. Really, really important. Step. 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 Going well out there. Right. You do that four times. Okay. Then we're going to do step. going to do a third one that way, and you're just trying to just going to polish the window in front of you for step, touch, step, touch, and you're going to take your bones and you're going to do it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So anything you want to do, one, two, three, four. That was a lot of information. So let's go back to the beginning and think about that. So 
when you start with the plate, you do way, two, two, four, Enjoyed that? Did you enjoy that? I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it doesn't matter if you're not doing precisely what you're, we are doing. Just keep on moving, keep swaying. You've got your touches, etc. Um, but we're going to do it again, one more time. And this time we're going to do it through the way we just did it. And then Sheldon, I'd like you to continue playing after that. Just sure. kind of jam on that a bit. And at this point, I want you just to move any way you wish. So you can, uh, so we do once through the combination, the way you just learned it, and then you get to improvise. And you can use what we call the vocabulary, the steps that you just learned. So you can sway, you can do step touches, you can do quick steps, you can do whatever you wish, and you can do anything you want. You know, your favorite steps. You can dance standing, you can dance seated, you can dance with your chair, right? We can't see you. So, you know, they say dance like nobody's looking. That's what you're meant to do right now. Just enjoy yourself. Dance away. Dance away. Um, let's give it the old college try, shall we? Okay. Remember, you're going to start with four sways and two step touches, all right? Now this, I've given a lot to you um, in a short amount of time. So again, don't worry if you're not doing it exactly. Those of you who uh, 
like this challenge, just go for it. Okay, once through and then improvise. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. One. Sway. Enjoy that sway. Step, touch, step, touch again. This is your second one. Step, touch. Here comes the third one. Let the body move any way it wants as you do it. Here's the fourth one. Step. Three steps. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three. Once more. One, two. Quick steps. One, two, three. That away. One, two, three, four. Step. Again. One, two, three, four. Step. Now with the hands. A rhythm. Now we're just going to keep moving. Anything you want. You can do this with your chair. Woo! Or you can knock over the side.